us now on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline is a man who recently traded in all of that rivalry red to wear Cougar Royal Blue. Wide receiver Samson Nakua is with us. Samson, there's a special place in our hearts for a guy that does what you're doing right now. Welcome to BYU Sports Nation. <laughs> What's up, Cougar Nation? I'm excited <laughs> to be here. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. We're doing great. So, first and foremost, why was BYU the right fit for you for your last year of college football? Because you're really good, man. You could have gone a number of places. <laughs> um, honestly, the biggest decision in, in coming to BYU was my family. Um, just coming to be home. Um, grandma... We know grandma's getting a little older and uh, we just want to be able to spend more genuine time with her and uh, be here for her. And then uh, just helping with mom too. And uh, as our little brother Tay, he's at Timview. We're coming to help train him a little more. Uh, he definitely needs it. <laughs> uh, he he thinks he's better than he is. So we're definitely <laughs> trying to come and help him, help him out, you know, straighten him out a little bit. <laughs> So, Samson, give everybody an idea, maybe from a timeline perspective, when all of this started and this process really began for you and how ultimately you came to this decision. Man, I think it was right after season, um, right after COVID season, um, it really just came into my mind. Like, I think COVID that whole past year just uh, helped me put um, life into a bigger perspective and a while we had that time off of football, being home with uh, grandma and uh, with my mom and my family, it just made me realize like how much I've been, even though I've been in Salt Lake, like not too far, like it made me realize like how distant I have been from them. And like, I've been doing my own thing in this world and I haven't really been spending as much time in like being there for my family as much as I needed to be. So that whole COVID year, like just helped put a new perspective in, in my eyes and like made me realize like, I want to be home. Like, this is where I miss being home. I miss being with my family. I have a lot of friends still down here in Provo. Like, my brother rocked blue. Like, he loved it. Every time I talked to him about it, he loved Cougar Nation. And so, like, I don't know. Like, I've been talking about it for almost a year now. And, like, it just feels right. And it's been feeling right. And to just be home with family. And it's just, it's just awesome right now. <laughs> Samson Nakua is with us on BYU Sports Nation discussing his decision to transfer to BYU. Who decided on transferring to BYU first? Was it you or Puka? <laughs> uh, it was Puka, honestly. It was Puka. Uh, he, he's the one that uh, definitely brought it more into my eyes that it would probably be the best move for us and for our family. And uh, so mom and grandma don't have to pack up because grandma's getting, getting older and so she don't have to move around. And uh, Puka brought it to my eyes and I was like, bro, uh, you know I'm in red, right? Like, that's my rivalry school. <laughs> like, like, that's going to be the hardest decision. And that was probably the hardest uh, decision for me. But uh, as I prayed a lot more and I uh, took time to myself out in the mountains out here, uh, uh, it just came to my eyes and to my mind, like, this is the right decision. Like, it's time to come home, time to put the blue on. What was the reaction from some of your friends and teammates in red when you made this decision? Oh, uh, especially the defense. The defense was, they're like, hey, if you make the decision, just know we're coming for your head. And I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, I was like, guys, we're still friends. Like, it doesn't have to be like this. But I told him, like, you come for my head, I'm coming for the streak. Like, it's okay. I was like, <laughs> so I told him, it'll be a great rivalry. But uh, uh, a lot of them were hurt. Uh, a lot of them were a bit sad, but they knew that at the end of the day I was making decisions for family that they knew I had to come home for my grandma and my mom and that they were supporting me no matter what, but they just said, be ready for that, for that game. <laughs> yeah, understandably family first. And uh, we can get on board with that. What type of role do you expect to play for BYU football in this grad transfer season? Um, I don't usually like to talk about my roles. Uh, I've always taken the backseat. I feel like, especially up uh, over at the U, I've taken the backseat a lot and uh, was always playing the guy that would uh, just do anything for the team. And um, I'm still that guy. I, I'd re always sacrifice my body and anything I need to do for this team to help this team win. Uh, and uh, But I feel like this year is my last year, and um, I just I really want to help lead this offense. Um, Zach Wilson and Dax is gone. Um, they have returners like Gunner and Neil that are there to help lead the way too. But um, I don't know. I feel like it's a bigger role for me this year. Um, I feel like I've matured in a lot of ways and uh, up to my game up in a lot of ways. Been working out with my brother Kai and some of his NFL teammates a lot. Um, 
So I've been just been preparing myself to to really lead this team and help uh, uh, bring this team to a next level to show the world that BYU is um, that we can run with anyone. Like not last year wasn't just some fluke because of COVID season. Like no, like we're coming to do this every year, no matter what team steps here, any any team anywhere, any place. Like we're here for it. We're ready, and we're gonna show them that we can rock. What do you like about this offense that A Rod and, and Fessy and that they're obviously you saw last year and you know you've had a chance to talk with them to to find out what this offense is going to look like as as we move into this next season. What do you like about it in terms of its fit for you? Um, air raid offense. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I I see them. I, I just started opening more uh, of my film of watching them and. Uh, seeing that man they love to throw that ball and uh, the way the that offense and the way that the years are moving and the game is changing like we need it, it needs to be like that um, I think Nick Saban talked about it the other day saying like the game is changing like even him they are allowing the best defense in the nation is allowing still 19 points a game and he's still frustrated with it but like the game's changing it's an air raid offense now and like we do that that's exactly what I want and then we can open up the run game uh, we spread the ball out and um, I think it's perfect the way they do it, the way uh, I was able to watch them last year do it was just Zach and them looked just unreal, and um, it looked like a great offense. Obviously, Samson, you understand that BYU's in the midst of a heated quarterback battle with Jaron Hall, <laughs> Jacob Conover, Baylor Romney. How do you feel about being one of the receivers, helping out whoever is going to be the starting quarterback? I'm excited, honestly. Like whoever, whoever it is, I'm, I'm excited to help each and uh, each one of them. Honestly, like I'm here to build each teammate. I'm not here to competition is cool and stuff, but at the end of the day, I'm still trying to make everyone better. At the end of the day, I want everyone to come along and ride with me as I'm getting better. I want my teammates to be getting better every day. So I'm not here to see competition or which one's better or who I want. It's just whoever's going to be there, whoever's throwing the rock, I'm going to be there to help you get better. Even our backups, like, I'm going to be there to help you get better, to find your way, because at the end of the day, we need everyone coming along at the end of the day. Like, one man goes down, the next man's got to be ready. So I'm excited for whoever it is and uh, whoever I can uh, help out to make better. Samson, I'm sure there's somebody watching or listening to this right now that maybe hasn't had a chance to see you play. For those people that haven't had a chance to see your skill set or what you bring to the field, Give everybody an idea of what you bring to the table as a as a receiver. Um, I think my biggest skill set is uh, just make a play when needed to be. Um, I'm a big. Uh, I'm there. The, I was talking about earlier. I'm there to help the team in any way. I'll block a D lineman if you have if you need me to. I'll block a linebacker if you need me to. But if you need that big play when in, in the clutch moment, I'll be that guy too to make it. Um, but at the end of the day, I, honestly, I think uh, no one's got to really see my full potential yet and what I can really do. And I think this year, that what you're going to see, I can be that it factor, uh, Odell Beckham or someone that they that someone really needs. And um, I'm just going to show everyone that my potential hasn't been shown yet. And uh, I'm just ready to go all out this year. You wore number 45. Are you going to wear number 45 in Cougar Blue, or is the number changing as you approach your final season? Nah, 45, 45 to the day I die, probably. Uh, my dad passed away at the age 45, and uh, so I rocked that number to keep him with me, and so I'm going to stay with it for sure. Well, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for uh, your approaching season. I know you're new to this, but when you come on the show, <laughs> you get karma, and you play that much better. So yes it's, it's it's a real thing man it happens it's a it, real like it. thing <laughs> hey i need it i'm feeling the energy already right now i'm feeling good if, if season were to start tomorrow we'd be ready to rock <laughs> samson welcome again to uh byu football and byu sports nation great to talk with you that cougar blue looks fantastic on you uh i'm sure yes, kalani's sir. got more coming your way my friend Yes, sir. Thank you, Cougar Nation. I'm excited. Let's get it going. You got it. Samson Nakua on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how. Oh, 